have to give you a proof, and that is the essence of this next level, that we have been given the Qur'an, the word of Allah, and we have been given the sunnah and the statements of the Prophet. So they asked, and I present to you the story or the statement of Fatima bint Qais. Fatima, a woman, had just gotten divorced, and they asked her, Oh, Fatima, tell me a story that you heard. Because now we're getting ready to talk about the incident. What is the incident, my brothers and sisters? Oh, Lost fans, here we go. What's the incident? Season finale of Lost, what's the incident? Is it the bomb? Is it traveling back and forth in time? Or is it something even greater? Is it something even more incredible? They asked Fatima bint Qais, Oh, tell us a hadith or a statement or something that happened that you heard directly from the Messenger of Allah, the final messenger, the final light worker, the final brother of the brethren of prophets who have been assigned as light workers and way showers to the earth with the word. Tell us something you heard directly. She said, I was there during the day of the incident of Tamim Adari. <laughs> Oh, brothers and sisters, listen to this story. The call to prayer was announced, and everybody gathered. And Fatima bint Qais said this was right after the time that I got divorced. And I was waiting for my period of waiting after my husband had died. Her husband had died in the war, and she wanted to get remarried, and she was waiting for her waiting period. And as soon as her waiting period had, had ended, she heard the call to prayer, and she gathered in Medina, a city in Saudi Arabia, where the Prophet had gathered with all the people to found the nation of Islam. And after the prayer, the Prophet rose to the pulpit, and he said to everyone, sit where you are sitting. I have something amazing to tell you today. I have not gathered you here to warn you about some bad acts that you may do. And I have not gathered you here to praise and glorify some noble thing of the higher realms. I have come to tell you of an incident of Tamim Adari, a Christian man who has come to Medina today and pledged allegiance to Islam and he has told me a tale of an incident that is so amazing that I have had a hard time sleeping. So excited am I to tell you this story and happy. So gather and listen today this tale that you are about to hear. Oh, my brothers and sisters, when you hear a story from the Prophet, you know you're about to hear something good. Tamim Dari and his cousins, about 30 men, had sailed from the Arabian Sea and they had got lost in a storm. For 30 nights, the waves threw them back and forth into the oceans, in the depths. Tamim says, we sailed so far until the setting of the sun and we landed on an island where the sun didn't rise. And there, our ship went to shore. We stayed on our boat and then descended and went through the island and landed in the most strangest island that we have ever seen. Oh yes, my brothers and sisters. Thereupon we came to a creature standing erect covered in hair from front to back. We couldn't tell which was front or which was back. Hair flowing everywhere. We came up to it and we said, Oh, peace be upon you, Salam. And it returned the greeting to us and said, Salam. We said, Whoa, what are you? It said, I am Al Jasasa, the beast or the spy. He said, we want to know more about you. The beast said, I have nothing to inform you. Go to the monastery. Go up to the temple. There, there is um, someone who is waiting to give you information and take information from you. 
go quickly and hasten. Tamim said they got so scared by this creature that they rushed quickly away, for they thought perhaps this creature was some kind of evil devil. Up the hills they went in the island till they reached the monastery. There inside the monastery they found a man more huge than any man they had ever seen, covered in hair, shackled from his feet to his hands up to his neck. They said, whoa, what are you? He said to them, you have been allowed to see me. So now that you have been given this status and this honor to see me, first I will ask you questions. Who are you and where have you come from? They said, we are people from the Arabs. We have sailed on the sea for 30 days and we got lost. And we got stranded here on this island. We needed food and shelter. We came upon a creature covered in hair and he told us to rush up to this monastery, to this temple, and we have come to see you. He said, tell me about the date palms of Baysan, these date palms in the Jordan or Sham area, Syrian area. They asked, what are you asking about these date palms? He said, do they still give dates? They wondered at the question and said, yes, of course. The date palms of Baysan give the most luscious dates. He asked, inform me about At-Tabariya, Al-Buhayra At-Tabariya, the spring or the channel of, of Tabariya. Does the channel flow with water? And they said, yes, At-Tabariya flows normally with water. Why do you ask? He, the man, said, inform me about the spring of Zughar, also in Syria, in the Sham area, a spring of water. They asked, why do you ask? He said, does it give water still? They said, yes, of course, as far as we know, it is giving water to this day. Hmm. Inform me, he said, about the prophet of the illiterate ones, the one of the Arabs. What is his status? They said, we have heard of his status. He asked, are you from them? They said, no, we have heard of him and we were traveling to go towards to see him. What do you know of him? The man asked. They said, we have heard that he has fought amongst the Arabs and he has been victorious over some of them and they have begun to obey him and follow him. Then he said, indeed, this has really occurred. And they said, yes, it is true. They have begun to obey him and follow him as their leader. Then the man said, it is better for them if they were to do that, if only they were to know. Oh, my lost brothers and sisters, can you believe this story that I am telling you? That we have from the Prophet Muhammad and we have had it for hundreds of years. Now listen to what he said next. <clears throat> 